saying breaking overnight, temporary ceasefire. Ukrainian and Russian officials agree to pause the fighting in two areas of southeast Ukraine to allow women and children to get out. But this morning, there are already reports that the Russians aren't holding up their end of the bargain, as the fighting elsewhere shows no signs of letting up, as more than 1.2 million people flee the country, leading to scenes of desperation and despair at crowded train stations and border crossings. We're live in Ukraine with the very latest. Sticker shock. Gas prices still rising this morning, hovering close to an average of $4 a gallon nationwide. More expensive every day, every day, going up. As lawmakers from both sides of the aisle call on the White House to ban Russian oil. But could that move drive prices even higher? cloud of controversy. The Paralympic Winter Games now underway in Beijing. Ukraine's team entering in triumph. Athletes from Russia and Belarus banned. I am horrified at what is taking place in the world right now. The 21st century is a time for dialogue and diplomacy, not war and hate. As the U.S. picks up its first gold medal of the Games. Those stories plus rallying cry. Americans nationwide showing support for the people of Ukraine from sending supplies to raising money and waving that nation's blue and yellow flag. I've sold more Ukraine in these past two weeks than probably we have in the entire 106 years that we've been in business. While in Ukraine, celebrity chef Jose Andres and his World Central Kitchen provide meals to tens of thousands in need. Today, Saturday, March 5th, 2022. From NBC News, this is Today with Peter Alexander and Kristen Welker. Welcome to today and thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday morning and Peter we are starting yet another weekend after a week of watching these really heartbreaking images come out of Ukraine. I'm struck by the words by the Paralympic president saying this is not the time for war and hate this morning we're going to show you those scenes of desperation but also those moments of hope and strength and resilience as well. Yeah so important right now and we do have a lot to get to this morning including that temporary ceasefire announced overnight in South Southeast Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine agreeing to halt fighting in two areas, including the key city of Mariupol, so residents, mostly women and children, can safely evacuate. But there are already reports that the Russians are violating that agreement. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin is cracking down on independent news organizations reporting in Russia. On Friday, Putin signed a law banning what the Russian government calls fake news, including any reporting that calls the attack on Ukraine a war or an invasion. Anyone found guilty there could face a 15-year prison sentence. Already, many Western news organizations, both in the U.S. and U.K., have now announced that they will temporarily suspend broadcasting from inside Russia. We have the story covered from around the globe, but we do want to begin this morning with NBC's Aaron McLaughlin, who is in Lviv. Aaron, good morning. What's the latest there? Good morning, Kristen. Ukrainian officials say the evacuation of civilians from the besieged cities of Mariupol and Volnovaha have been postponed due to continued Russian fighting. We've been speaking to Ukrainians who say they haven't been able to reach family members in those areas in days, and they're desperate to know if their loved ones are alive. Good morning. Breaking overnight, temporary ceasefire. Ukrainian and Russian officials agree to pause the fighting in two areas of southeast Ukraine to allow women and children to get out. But already this morning, reports that the Russians have violated that agreement as the war rages on. More than a million people fleeing the country, train stations and borders crowded and overwhelmed. We're live in Ukraine with the latest show of support americans nationwide rallying behind the ukrainian people sending supplies raising money and flying that nation's blue and yellow flag i've sold more ukraine in these past two weeks than probably we have in the entire 100 years 106 years that we've been in business 
and a meal with a message. Celebrity chef Jose Andres jumping into action, bringing his World Central Kitchen to Ukraine. We are all American, we are all Ukrainian, we are all citizens of the world. The chefs providing hundreds of thousands of meals to help hungry refugees. Much needed humanity in the midst of an awful war. Today, Saturday, March 5th, 2022. We are the woman, Steve. And Lisa from Tappahannock, Virginia, fans of the Today Show. We would like to wish our son-in-law, Angel Aguado, a happy birthday. Good morning to all my students at Bridge Mills Elementary School, my parents, my Aunt Linda and Uncle Paul, and to Julie and Kevin. From the Wise County Youth Fair in Decatur, Texas, you say hey to the Today Show. Wendy one for those folks, good morning. Welcome back to today on this Saturday morning. It is so nice to see people rallying to help the people of Ukraine. And really, it feels like all around the world it's yeah. happening. Now, even on the ride into work today, on every overpass, you could see the yellow and blue flags yeah. flying just coming into the district. Yeah, it is incredible. And let's get right to today's news on that front in the temporary ceasefire agreement in southeast Ukraine. Residents were told to leave as quickly as they could, but shortly after the pause was declared, there were reports that Russia was violating that agreement. We want to get to the latest now from NBC's Erin McLaughlin. She is in Lviv, Ukraine. Erin, good morning. Good morning, Peter. Ukrainian officials say plans to evacuate civilians from the besieged cities of Mariupol and Volnovaha have been postponed due to continued Russian fighting. We've been speaking to Ukrainians who say they've been trying to reach their family members in those areas for days, and they're desperate to know if their loved ones are alive. Molly, thank you much for, uh, so much for sharing their story. And I love that the CEO said, this is exactly why we exist. So those families, those children, those moms and others get there where they're greeted by love, but also by something to eat, some sustenance that they need. Yeah, exactly. And you can see the kids and the moms just having that moment of reprieve. They really are heroes. You said it before, and that's exactly right. We're back right after this. That's going to do it for us on a Saturday morning as we say goodbye, sending thoughts of strength to all the people of Ukraine and gratitude to all those who are helping them. Yeah, one of those rare moments where the whole world has come together. Have a great Saturday, everyone. Stay safe. Tuesday. Today celebrates International Women's Day with leaders in the global fight for kids and the women making their mark in space, sports, and the military. Their triumphant stories on the plaza. A special live event, Tuesday on Today.